everyone, and welcome to Simple Fresh Flavors with Emily. Did you know that the artichokes that we buy in the produce section are actually giant flower buds? Yes, if they had not been cut back, they would have cut, turned into these giant purple thistle flowers. The color is amazing. So today we're gonna be using artichokes. And I thought it'd be fun if we did an Italian stuffed artichoke. We're gonna stuff these with breadcrumbs and garlic, olive oil, it's gonna be so good. You can serve them as a side dish or as an appetizer. One thing is for sure though, I know you're going to love these artichokes. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna begin by preparing our artichokes. This is how you get them at the grocery store. This variety is called a globe artichoke. It's a big round artichoke, obviously. So um, I'm just gonna start by getting this bottom stalk off. Now you wanna try and get it as level as possible or at least sitting up straight because you want it to sit in the pan nicely. Um, and then you want to get this very tip off. They, the leaves have these like thorns or spi spikes. I don't know what they really are, but it, it's very uncomfortable if you catch one in the mouth. So I'm just gonna get this off here. And then you see actually there is a beautiful green color inside there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, like I said, these have like a spike thorn thing and um, each leaf has it. So of course we're going to be eating our leaves and I'm just gonna take some scissors and go around all the different tips and get them clipped just the edge where that little spike is. You don't want to waste too much of your leaf because I mean it's that's where the good stuff is. So we'll go ahead and I'll get this clipped and I'm gonna put these in a steamer for half an hour. For the stuffing I combine a quarter cup Parmesan cheese, three quarters cup panko or breadcrumbs, two tablespoons fresh chopped parsley, one clove of garlic, and a quarter teaspoon salt to a bowl. I add about one to two tablespoons of olive oil just to lightly coat the crumbs. Okay, so I'm back. I've got our artichokes out of their steam bath and I um, let them cool completely and knocked out the water from there because you don't want this breading to get soggy and icky. So I'm just going to go around and stuff all of this in these leaves all the way up there to the top. Now at the top, if you know the anatomy of an artichoke, if you will, um, you have the choke. Um, I don't know why it's called a choke. When I was little, I thought it was called a choke because if you ate it, you would choke. But then I started thinking, well, maybe it's just a derivative of the word. I don't know. If you know the answer, could you let me know? I'm just gonna stuff this all around up to the choke and then I just, I stop. Um, because I will be eating the choke, I love it, but it's, it's, you know, you have to scrape it out. You can't just eat it like you can the leaves. I add the artichokes to a glass baking dish and fill it up about halfway with water. I drizzle the tops of the artichokes with olive oil and cover with foil. Bake for about 30 minutes. Remove the foil and bake uncovered for another 15 minutes. Okay, so I just pulled these out of the oven and they look so pretty and they smell amazing. The garlic, the parsley, even the Parmesan is coming through. I sort of like to open up the leaves a little bit. These almost look like a succulent. You know, the, the latest craze with the, all the succulents everywhere. They look like those little Echeveria succulents. Oh, man. That, I'm going to add a little more Parmesan to the top. I like to add some capers in there, just to add that pretty bright um, parsley. Of course, a little more parsley. And then I include lemon wedges, which I don't really see, I haven't seen in any other sort of um, traditional recipes, but I do feel like the brightness is uh, sort of cuts the the Parmesan salty. It's I think it's excellent. So there you have it. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and give me a like and a follow for more simple, fresh flavors. 
Thanks, y'all. Bye.